Hey guys, it's Paul from Vintage Sports Card Finds. Um, thanks for joining us today. Bear with me. I'm a little bit under the weather. But uh, I did want to get this video in because it uh, encompasses something that I've been seeking to get done for a little while. In my quest to build my collection, one of the things, there's really been two sets from the 1980s as it pertains to football and it pertains to baseball that I have been trying to uh, complete. Um, there is now one of those two is done. So the 1980s football stuff is complete. And I wanted to show you just kind of the highlights of the set that I completed. It is the 1984 Topps USFL set. And I was able to buy this set um online i was missing a total of five cards uh and i bet most of you can imagine which the four of them were but the other one was an anthony carter rookie but let's start with this one here now i i purchased the set because um i had been i had been it'd been a safe search for me for a while and i was looking to uh, complete this set with four graded um Oh, geez. Four graded. Um, the four main cards graded. So this Herschel Walker, for example, is one of those. And it came in a, a PSA 8. Uh, so I was excited to get that. Um, and these were a nice grade. But so the quest was, for me, is always kind of, uh, I gotta make sure that I, uh, don't, um, spend crazy for this set. I mean, you could have gone and bought this set at any time on eBay for six or $700, but I didn't want to pay six or $700 for this set. So what I was hoping for was either to find a great buy with these cards raw, um, fairly inexpensively, I'd say maybe a hundred to $200, 200 and change maybe, and then have the, four main cards graded or to purchase the set um, outright with these cards in it, but for a little bit better price. Turned out I got a great price on it uh, from an eBay seller. Uh, he had the cards, he had the whole set and he was basically selling it for the price of one that was raw. So here's another one. This is the Reggie, uh, Reggie White rookie in a PSA 8 and to me these cards are just uh, part of a you know a huge quest I mean I have all these rookies these so-called NFL tops rookies of them the NFL cards you know Reggie White's I think was 1986 uh Herschel Walker might be 1987 um I want to say Jim Kelly's 1987, and of course, Steve Young is 1986. But these cards just carry such a premium. And to me, these are the, these are the true rookies. I mean, made by tops, so it's not made by some fly by night, uh, card company, you know. Um, you know, not to bag on star, but the star cards that were made for mid 80s basketball, you know, then then non you know um i guess t technically non licensed cards although they do have all the logos so i don't know if that is completely accurate but but i wanted to get these cards and i wanted to get them with the uh four main cards graded and then of course the anthony carter came so i was able to put that in my binder as well and then i took the rest of the set and i put it on ebay and it lasted about three or four days, and it's now been sold. I'm going to ship that either today or tomorrow. This one here is a Jim Kelly OC, designation 8OC. Um, just another great card. Uh, probably, if this didn't have the qualifier, it'd probably be around the 6, because uh, that would make sense that this card would be around the 6 because of the centering on it. <laughs> Uh, so that, that, I, I, I'd say that that, that would be an accurate grade for it, but it got an 8.0C. So, uh, 
you know, I'll always treat this card as sort of like a six. Um, if it doesn't have the qualifier on it. But you got the Jim Kelly out of the way, and it was a really nice addition. I mean, the 1987 Jim Kelly, I have more than one of them. They're just, you know, they're not really his rookie. You know what I mean? They're, they're his NFL rookie, but but there's something to be said for this card here, which is, and Jim Kelly's great quarterback. Great quarterback. Um, led his team to four, four straight Super Bowls. He never won one, but four straight Super Bowls. He was a nemesis for us. Um, as a New England Patriots fan, he was a nemesis for a long time, him and Dan Marino. So we definitely understood where he's coming from. Uh, Jim Kelly, Kagon, great, 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 great player. And the last one I want to show is the Steve Young, which came in a seven. Um, and, uh, you know, again, Tops USFL, Neon Mint seven. Great looking card. Um, and just part of a, a great, great, uh, set. And this one probably could have gotten a six because it is pretty, pretty significantly off center. But just a great, great group of cards there. And, um, yeah, so the key with this, with this group was I wanted to get these cards already graded. Save myself the grading fees and, and if I ever come across a better one, I'll certainly upgrade. You guys know how I operate. I just try to, um, get the best cards I can and, uh, and go from there with the best deal I can because I'm a collector on a budget. I mean, it's just the simple facts. You know what I mean? I can't, you know, I'm not the type of person who's going to be able to throw a thousand dollars at uh, a collection here and another thousand dollars at a collection there. I mean, I can, um, if, if the collection warrants it, certainly I'd, I'd find a way, but, but when you're on a budget, you really are trying to, uh, engineer ways to get the cards you once thought, you know, that's probably not a card I'm going to get or, or not something I'll be able to add to my collection, but I'm super, super excited. You can't tell a little bit because my cold is bringing me down. But I'm super excited to get these cards. I've been, this is something I've been looking forward to for a, for a very, very long time. And so to get these cards and get all of them graded all in one felt swoop was awesome. And to get it for the price of what normally a raw set sells for was an even better thing, right? Like most raw sets sell between, I guess, I'm, I'm, I'm ballparking here, um, based on what I looked at. Between three hundred and fifty and four hundred and fifty dollars in all honesty, if they're buy it nows or that type of thing. Um and you know, to get this for about that price and have them all be kind of eight, you know, sevens or eights or better, um uh, it just seemed like a no brainer to me. And it was really, really excited to get those out of the way. So you guys may be questioning me and saying, well, what's the other set that from the 1980s, from 1980s baseball that you really, really want? Well, I haven't gotten it and I certainly will always look to get it. These are just rando cards from the 1984 base set. Um, but I think all of you know which one I'm talking about is the 1984 flare update. It's a set I don't have. It's a set I really want to have um, because of the the um, Kirby Puckett rookie. And, of course, more importantly for me, the Roger Clemens rookie. Um, it's just a, a beautiful set and, uh, and so sought after that 1984 flare update. I have all the other update sets and traded sets and all that good stuff from the 1980s from all of the um, companies that released the Don Ross Flair tops, etc. But that one has eluded me, and I'm and partially because I don't want to spend a lot of money on it. Uh, but if given the opportunity and I see it and the price is right for me, I will pick it up because, you know, it's tough to be a collector on a budget. It is what it is. Uh, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Those of you 
who are subscribed um, and, and watch all the videos. I really want to thank you for your support. Um, be sure to comment if uh, like, share, and subscribe. It all helps the channel out. It's really, really important that uh, you, when you do that for us. And I want to thank you for that. Um, and um, remember, subscribing is 100% free. I'll never ask anything from you. So uh, just throw in that thumbs up and the subscribe, and that would be great. Uh, other than that, thanks so much for watching. And as always, guys, happy hunting. Thanks.